Hey everybody, this is Buddy. Well, I just got me some water from the OC, stepped out here on the deck, fixing to run down the stairs. If you know where the stairs are on the backs, right side, but close to the pool. I'm not, I'm not at the pool, but there's the pool. The wind is blowing out of the south, so it's blowing this way. I done made, uh, I've been going, yeah, I've made a few laps, but I'm gonna go as hard and as far as I can today because <laughs> I gotta get this body ready to kiteboard. I will be kiteboarding uh, here this time next week. And yes, I am going to Jamaica. That was the big surprise and secret and all that kind of thing. I didn't want to pop the news until I stirred up a whole bunch of mess around <laughs> Ozark about 5G. But look, when I get back, <laughs> I'm gonna go to some meetings and I want to talk to you people. I want y'all to come to the meetings. I'll publicize it, let everybody know. But I'll be back in, uh, in three months. And I'll be posting stuff that I find about 5G and uh, talking about it. But I won't be doing updates. So I need some people on the ground to ride around and take pictures and videos and start talking about it. We need to get a group together, like a Facebook group. I need, I need like five really good people that want to understand how to get uh, 5G removed totally from the Ozark. And we can do it. Best way is to talk to the chief of police. The best, best way is the fire chiefs. I've had uh, intel that tells me that fire chiefs, uh, when they come together with the fire department to put it, 5G out of the fire stations and not have it put in, then they, they have the best chance of having it go to the city and have it removed from our power pose, have it taken down. We, if you don't understand what I'm talking about, it I can't tell you in one video, but look, 5G is not your friend. 5G will kill you. The cell phones right now are killing you, but when you amp them suckers up with the new technology that they say, well, it's coming, it's not here. Now you can look at the pose as you ride around Rogersville and Ozark, and you'll see something different on those pose. It's a round wire, with a black connector box. And they say, well, that's just a fiber connector box. I've been through this. No, it's not because they'll take the fiber connector box down and they'll put a silver antenna. And the silver antenna is what it is. It's a microcell that actually is an antenna. You don't believe me, just go to Rogersville. They got more of them in Rogersville than they do. Uh, well, there's, there's a couple of antennas over by uh, where you throw the rows, you know, the Lamberts on that street over there but uh just keep watching around ozark up through town as you go to walmart look at all of the black connector boxes and that'll be eventually the box will come the black box will come down and that'll be where they connect the the antenna the, the micro cell the mini cell they call it all right well i told you what i'm going to do <laughs> i'm going to jamaica i already bought the ticket and everything so all right uh, I keep running and uh, doing what I'm doing, the fast man walk, and I, what I'm doing is trying to get in kite shape, because as soon as I can, I want to be doing two sessions a day, because I want to break that all-time record that I had last year for the most days kited and the most distance gathered in, or, you know, gathered up. It's, yeah, it's, it's like riding a bicycle on water. <laughs> I'm adding the miles up, but I changed the... Uh, and the Strava, I can change it to kiteboarding. So, all right. I'm wound up like an eight day clock. I got, <laughs> I got like, uh, you know, two or three more laps to go. I'm gonna try to do, uh, I did almost 6.5 yesterday. I wanna see if I can do eight today. All right. <laughs> 